everybody what's up everybody what's up everybody what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so this is the second video in one day what can everybody just stay in the comments team jazz because i'm just giving out these these videos like it's just money to strippers like <laughs> by the title y'all already know which the girl gonna be talking about today. Spilling a little tea, okay? I'm be spilling a little tea because y'all are my friends, y'all like my family. So y'all gonna hear this tea, okay? Cause I know y'all ready for it. I know y'all ready for this boiling hot tea, okay? When this boy cheating on me. It, it, it's just like, why can't just, why can't men just know what loyalty is? It's just like, they don't, they don't know. Like they don't know what loyalty is. And that, that, that's really just messed up. Just so messed up. Give this video a thumbs up, spend a comment, spread the positivity, and let's get into this tea. All right, y'all. So basically, this was about, this was way before I got with Tay, okay? And I was just like, I feel like every girl has got with a, excuse my French, okay? An F boy, I about to say the, the cuss word, but I just switched that. Every, I feel like every girl has dealt with an F boy, period. And I've dealt with one, okay? And it's not, it, it's just like, it changes your whole mindset on these dudes. Like, oh my goodness. Like, it just hits a certain, a certain nerve in your body that you just want to just knock that F boy out. Like, like why are you acting so stupid? Like, why are you acting like this? Why can't you just act right, you know? So we stay with them F boys just because he says like he would change or and you actually believe that he would change. So it's like you you feel like you want to stay with him until he changed because you want to be that rider, that ride or die, the the one that you could say like, oh, I stay with him and he changed and you know, stuff like that. But sometimes, look ladies, sometimes we have to know our worth, okay? We have to know what's right and we have to know what's wrong okay we can't stay with someone that this you can't stay with someone that just disrespects you so many times and you put up with it like no you need to sit back baby girl and know your worth and once you realize your worth you're gonna move on period so that's the advice i should have gave myself when i was uh, messing with that ever because i was on some dumb stuff i was i was like just staying with him and he was doing dumb stuff and let me tell y'all what dumb stuff he was doing so I'm like that crazy type of girl. Well, I used to be back then. I don't, I don't know if I am now because Tay never put me in that position to be crazy like that. He's a smart guy. But when I was back, when I was like maybe 16, 17, I was, you know, kind of. And um, I was like that crazy to where, cause let me tell you, I didn't have friends. So I had to do all the, you know, I had to search for things myself. When I mean search things, I had to go through his followings. I had to see what pictures he liked. I had to just do all that myself because I, I had I didn't have friends where I can go to and be like, "Girl, look him up and see if this girl follow him, or look her up and see if they've been commenting back to back." I had to do all that myself, and not that that was a problem because I figured everything out on my own. <laughs> on my own, <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> I was gonna get to the bottom of it regardless, friends or not. Like, let me tell you, I was so crazy back then. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know what changed me, but I was. So, let's get back to the story. So, basically, I had, I never, I didn't have a Facebook account. Um, it's been a minute since I had a Facebook account. Um, ever since my Facebook, ever since I forgot the password to my Facebook, I have not got on it in so long. So, at the time, I didn't have one and lost my password and all that other stuff. So, I made a whole new Facebook. <laughs> I made a whole new Facebook and I went on Google to go picture. <coughs> Excuse me. I went on Google. Wait, is that it? No, that's another crazy time. Oh, my bad. I'm myself. So, um, I'll, give it, I'll get to that, y'all. Okay, so I had made a Facebook just to see because I know... Cause I told him, he asked me to have a Facebook. 
and I was like no so therefore that was a pass right there that was a, like a go-to for him because since he know that I don't have a Facebook that's gonna get him that click in his head like, okay well I can flirt with anybody I want to because she who's gonna because who's gonna find me or who's gonna you know how she's gonna know if she don't have Facebook so <laughs> the guy thought so I had made me a Facebook account um no picture nothing because I just wanted to get you know um in detail to see what you was doing and he did not have his page on private so that was good because i thought i would have had to add him and then he would have been like who is this then he would have like declined my firm request because who would answer like a firm request and there's no picture so um a good thing is that he didn't um have his page on private so i went on there i was just going through everything let me tell you i went through his pictures i went through the comments i went through his likes i went through um did i say his friend list I think I did. Well, I went through that too, if I didn't say that. If I did, I went through that too again. I was going through everything. I spent, I literally spent the whole day just on his junk. I was looking at his statuses. I was looking at who liked him. I was looking at the comments, who uh was commenting under his status. And surprisingly, well, it's not that it was a surprise or anything because that stuff always happens. He was flirting with this girl under his status so they y'all calling each other babe boo text me why you ain't call me i stayed up with you um on this phone call i'm like well that night you was supposed to be on the phone with me you said that you fell asleep early the next day but really you didn't because you weren't with me you was on the phone with that girl so i'm just like okay so low-key deep down i was hurt but then i was just like okay okay so um i seen that and then i had clicked on her page and you know she, she i mean she was she was okay i ain't gonna say she was ugly but I, i'm gonna get her that she was she was you no know, good she was okay no good little looking i guess no, she ain't got none of me but i'm just saying like, you know so i seen um i went on hers and then i seen him liking her pictures commenting hard eyes and all the stuff up under her pictures but then I see he says best friend and stuff like that. So I'm looking like, okay, so this is your best friend, but y'all calling each other bae, y'all giving each other heart on stuff. Like, that ain't no best friend to me. That look like y'all, that, that that's not no best friend stuff to me. They're talking about I love you, you know, it's other stuff. And I'm looking like, okay, well, scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. What best friend call each other bae, okay? What best friend say pull up now and and uh, get in the car wear that look wear that outfit that I like like no like mm -mm. maybe I'm maybe I'm a little crazy or whatever but best friend's not supposed to be doing that okay like no that's what you have a girlfriend for that's what you have a girlfriend for you tell me to pull up and wear the outfit that you like not your best friend okay that's why I don't do that best friend junk I don't do it I don't like I don't entertain a best friend stuff. So that was like that was like strike one for him, and I played it cool. Usually I would have called him and said, "Who the, who is this? Who is this?" But you know, all dudes lie, even though you know the truth. They still try to come up with a lie, like still try to come up with a lie. So look, <laughs> it's another thing. Um, he left his phone out. That was strike one, but this is strike two. He left his phone out. We were at the gas station. He went in and dude didn't have a car he went in it was my car like it was my car he went in and he left his phone in the thing so he was phone in a, in a little cup holder part so a text came through and said hey babe so i was like <laughs> i just started laughing like this dude is really trying to play it crazy and he and look let me tell you he thought he was slick he thought he was slick because he put the contact as like mommy so i'm just like that's not your freaking mom why is your mom texting you saying hey bae like what like hey bae hey boo with a oh who mama does that who mama who do y'all mama text y'all and say hey bae hey boo with a with the freaking tongue out and the wet sign on it like no that that your mom won't do that so i'm in the car i have a whole attitude he comes out and he clicked his phone and he know i seen it he know i seen that jump but he didn't say nothing he just let it ride out 
and the whole car ride was so silent like i wanted to kill that dude this is what i mean when i say you stay with an f boy <laughs> you stay with a freaking f boy even though you know the truth at the time i did not know my worth i did not know my worth at all so i was just putting up with his stuff even though i knew like i could have walked away or whatever but honestly i feel like I was scared of being single again maybe that's what it was that I was afraid of being single again maybe like nobody else would want me type thing and you know that I guess that's what was going through my head because anybody could walk away from that and break up or whatever but me I was just on some foo foo junk <laughs> I was just on some retarded stuff now that I think about it like girl you're stupid like I still be thinking about like Oh my gosh, you were so stupid to just stay with him. Why didn't you just pop him in his face right there? Or why didn't you just leave him right there and just drive off? Like, something was telling me that, but then I was just, I don't know. So, that was strike two. Um, strike three was when I had made an Instagram account, a fake Instagram account. I had got a girl picture from Google. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I got a girl picture from Google, and, um... I had DMs him because I like I said I don't have no friends to DM for me or anything so basically I just got a, a, a fake uh, what y'all call it a catfish picture and I had DMs him to see if he was on cheat she was like you know stripper type thing so I had to get the best of the best you know so I had DMs him basically said like gave him a little emoji I'm like okay well he responds he didn't respond a couple hours later, a couple hours later, this dude is so stupid. He's just so stupid. He responded back with an emoji. I forgot what the emoji was, but I know it was a flirting emoji, y'all. I know it was a flirting emoji. And I had responded. I'm just planning how I'm just planning how he planned it. So we was, they, uh, we was going back and forth, back and forth. And then I finally asked him and said, "Do you have a girlfriend?" And guess we tells me, guess we tells her. Well, I was about to say, guess he tells me. Well, yeah, guess who he tells me? The catfish. He says no. He don't have a girlfriend. And let me let me tell y'all, this dude, when it was WCW time back then, Women Crush Wednesday or something like that, he would, like, <laughs> he would post me. <laughs> this is funny now, but it, was, it pissed me off, you know, back then. He put WCW me, but he took that junk off. I remember. Cause his best friend had commented under that picture and said, when did you get a girlfriend? I'm like, and he hurried up and took the picture down. I'm just like, we've been talking for like six, seven months. And it's crazy that no one knows that you had a girlfriend for six or seven months. Like that's crazy. Everybody knew I had a freaking boyfriend because I put this dude on my Instagram. So many pictures. I'm just like, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing? That was strike freaking three, bro. And I was just so mad. Like, I started crying because I was just so freaking mad. You know how when you just so mad and the only thing you do is just cry. Because, you know, like, you about to either F him up, you about to kill somebody, or you just about to go crazy. I was about to go crazy, y'all. Because that was like six or seven months I wasted of my life. <laughs> like, it may not seem like a long time, but y'all, six so seven months is a freaking long time for me. And I just basically wasted my time with the ever boy that just don't care and just don't like, oh my goodness. That was like, that was strike three. I just was looking like, bro, are you freaking kidding me? Like, when is God gonna send me someone that just loves me for me? Like, when is he gonna send me a good man? <laughs> Not one of these F boys. I've been with F boys. I've been with like, I ain't even gonna say I've been with because it was more so a talking. None of them was serious to even say like I've been with or this was a relationship. Like them F boys, oh my goodness, they just, it just made me not want to get in no, I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to get in a relationship. But then, God sends me someone. And y'all know who that is. <laughs> Three years. 